Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video we are going to talk about PhD in India versus abroad. I have made this video 4 years back but now it's time to look into the matter one more time and if you are planning to do PhD in India or you are thinking to do PhD in abroad then this video is just for you because in this video I will be comparing the differences between doing PhD in India versus doing PhD in abroad. Which one is better for you, you decide now with the help of this detailed analysis on 10 important points for doing PhD in India versus abroad. So let's move into my computer screen and uh, here in this computer screen I will be sharing you the details. I will be sharing you the importance of doing PhD in India versus importance of doing PhD in abroad. So again let's start looking at it. So here we have topic name and here we have PhD in India versus PhD in abroad. The first thing is research facility. The research facility you will get in PhD in India is moderate uh, but it's growing day by day. Obviously people earlier thought India don't have the facilities and research uh, degree and standard is low but still we are increasing it day by day. But in PhD in abroad particularly in US it is very very high. When I talk about PhD in abroad mostly we will talk about PhD in US and in few occasions PhD in European countries. The second point is stipend. The amount of money you will get per month in PhD in India it's decent right now 32,000 to 36,000 rupees per month non-taxable income. For a PhD in US it is also decent but the thing is if you compare that with the salary you will get in India you need to adjust based on purchasing power parity. Then you will find out that both are kind of decent in terms of a PhD uh, in terms of a GRF or junior research fellow. The third one is coursework. The coursework in India for doing PhD in India is mandatory but the coursework to for the PhD in abroad is also mandatory in US but not that much important to do PhD in European countries. The fourth important point is the difficulty of the exam that you need to qualify to get into the PhD. In India the exam is pretty tough and that is CSI net examination, CSI UGC net, UGC net, it can be ICMR, there are other examinations. They are difficult due to high competition, not about the standard of the question but the high competition that they have, 1 to 2 percent success rate. While PhD in abroad, particularly in US, the, the exam that you need to qualify to get into the PhD for US is moderately easier than that of the India. For European country it's even easier. Then comes to the duration of PhD. In India 5 to 8 even 9 years taken to do PhD in India but the stipend will be given for 5 years so make that in your mind. PhD in US will also take more time 4 years to 7 8 years but again comparatively low if you have uh, if you planned it properly and generally the PhD is more properly planned in US so it can be done in early time frame. Number of research papers published in PhD in India, the number of research paper that you will be able to publish will be low compared to that of the PhD in US. Obviously US is a country which is publishing huge number of research paper every single year from any particular research institute. So the chance that your research will be published quite often in US is higher than that of India. Then comes the chance of getting a job after PhD. It would be difficult for you to get a job even after PhD in India again due to high competition. But in US, in other uh, countries, uh, other developed countries in Europe as well, to get a job after PhD is quite easier. Then comes work-life balance. While doing a PhD, work-life balance is a key parameter and in India it is very bad. If you ask most of your seniors who have done PhD in India, in most of the cases you will hear that the experience is not very good. But the work-life balance to do PhD in abroad, particularly in US, is good. The work-life balance is good, although during the time of work it's very strict. The PI, the guards, uh, all the supervisors are really strict. They are strict about their methodology, they are strict about their writing skills. But again, beyond that time, you have uh, your own personal life. Course fee to do PhD in India is very low and nil. Basically, the course fee that you need to pay is not uh, actually countable. But PhD in abroad, particularly PhD in US, the course fee is higher. The bachelor's degree that you have done in India, whether it's accepted for PhD in India, yes. R currently, for a PhD guidelines, if you score 75%, 75% in your 4 years bachelor's degree will be capable of doing PhD in India. But that bachelor's degree, degree still holds in US for doing PhD in US but it will not hold if you want to do PhD in European countries. 
So these are some important events and alongside there are some other factors that you can always look for. The research grant opportunities, I must uh, add here as an extra tip, the research grant opportunities is huge in US and they give a huge chunk of money for a good research where to get the research grant in India is a very tedious job. So these are all important parameters that you must look when you're trying to decide to do PhD in India versus abroad to do PhD in India versus doing PhD in abroad. So now you decide whether doing PhD in India is best for you or doing PhD in abroad is best for you. Okay, so now you can easily decide. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.